to the channel. Ooh. Happy New Year. We are in 2024. Like, that's crazy. So, if you are new here, welcome. Welcome. And also, to the subscribers, welcome back. So, today we are doing a vision board. I've never done a vision board before, so I'm excited to do this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This year we are being more consistent and we just want more positivity, more subscribers, more loved ones. I'll tell you guys where I got some things from. I went to CVS, if you guys ever wanna do a vision board. I went to CVS, printed out some pictures. They only cost like $14, $14.99, I think. And I printed out like 40 okay i printed out at least like 38 um the picture frame i got from like a discount store 99 cent store i got a 16 by 20 i've seen a lot of this on tiktok and just everywhere else um a lot of people use 16 by 20 if you have a lot of pictures so this is how big it is and I think my pictures are going to fit. Um, you can use one of those construction boards if you want to, but I think it's really cute when it's framed and hanged up. We're just gonna be talking, okay? Nothing but positivity in this video. I hope this video motivates you, lifts you up, gives you some clarity. Everything is gonna feel around it, okay? This should be cute. So, what topic <laughs> should we talk about? What topic? Self-love. We're going to go into self-love. This is a lot. Um, now, I got these pictures from Pinterest. You can go to Pinterest, right? And if you're a black woman like me or a black man, you can type it and you want your pictures to be with melanin people, our folks. Okay? Type in black woman vision board type in black man vision board and you're gonna see a bunch of our melanated people meditation i really want to get into that more which goes with the sage I, I have to buy more sage i've done this before and it's so therapeutic it's so calming and it just makes my day easier especially when i speak on my affirmations and just speak nothing but positivity into myself i love that and i need to do that more and i prioritize my peace of mind i'm not playing <laughs> if you bring any disruption into my life or my peace if i'm having a good day and you want to come with your rah 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 security show them to the exit please show them to the exit and also i don't chase I attract whatever belongs to me will simply find me. This could be one of your affirmations, okay? I'm just, I'm just letting you know. To me, self-love means understanding and valuing your worth, finding happiness, not sacrificing your well-being to please others, healing, treating yourself with kindness and respect. Self-love is pretty much putting yourself first, loving yourself, accepting who you are. And that's something that I believe everyone needs to work on this year. Next on my vision board is traveling. Oh my God. If you have no kids, and even if you do have kids, travel as much as you can. There's so much more to life than the city and the state that we live in. I want to experience a new environment, the warm weather, the beautiful skies, different cultures, different food. I so want to travel the world. Is here. Black women surrounded by other black women. I want that for myself. I want to be surrounded by people that love me, that uplift me that can tell me when I'm right and wrong. I wanna be surrounded by positive people, whether it's girls, boys, whoever loves on me, I'm gonna love on you. So I wanna be surrounded by positive people. If you got them folks that just wanna use you and abuse you, you need to let them go. I wanna make new friends, um, but I know that's something that I need to work on. I just feel like we don't trust ourselves. 
that's like the main thing we don't trust ourselves we try to project like oh i don't trust people that's why i don't make new friends or i don't you know i don't want to do that because da, da, da. no it's really you you don't trust yourself you don't have confidence in yourself and i know for me when it comes to making new friends i blame others but it's really me I don't trust myself to make new friends because I know how I am. I know that I'm a giving person. I'm very loyal. I got your back. But I'm giving that to the wrong people. I'm learning that not everybody deserves this type of energy. <laughs> not everybody deserves to be in my circle. Not everybody deserves to be in my face. Not everybody deserves my loyalty. Not everybody deserves my love. You have to really pick and choose when to give that out and who to give it out for. Change your circle and watch how your energy would change, how your life would change, how your mental would change. And it's not what I mean by that is just not like following, but you just have to be around positive people that will uplift you and speak nothing but positivity. And it doesn't have to be one person just pouring into you. Everybody can pour into each other. And just watch how that bouquet of flowers just blossom. We go cheers to that. Okay, we're gonna get into love, black, Love, Chad, because I love my black men. Y'all just gotta get y'all shit together. Get it together. Ugh. Get it together. Black men, please. I'm begging you. I don't want to go on the other side. It's your voice can to do it. <laughs> I got pictures of black love because we all deserve love. Black love, white love, yellow love, purple love, blue something. Okay? Last year and years before that, I've always been telling myself, like, I deserve love. I deserve a good man. Okay, Mama D. I didn't deserve none of that. I ain't even gonna hold you. I didn't deserve love. I didn't deserve a good man. I didn't deserve a good relationship. I didn't deserve everything that I said that I deserve. I, I didn't deserve it. Okay, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. Stop, stop looking at me. Let me cook. The reason why I say I did not deserve that was because I didn't love myself, okay? I didn't love myself. I didn't know my worth. I didn't know what I wanted. I, I still had things I needed to work on myself. So how are you out here saying you deserve love, you deserve this, you deserve that, and you're not even giving it to yourself? Oh, boom. Take a sip from me. Take a sip. You deserve healing. Love yourself before you can love others. Love yourself before you go out and ask for that. Because how you ask for something you can't even give yourself. So I'm gonna need everybody to re 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 evaluate. Not too much. I need you to give yourself that before you try to ask that from someone else. How can you love someone when you don't even love yourself? I deserve a black man, okay? I deserve to be dipped in my femininity, okay? Being feminine, I deserve that. I deserve to be in a relationship where I am soft, okay? Where I can let that man lead and me not trying to grab the steering wheel. My partner makes me feel safe and secure do y'all know have you ever been swallowed <laughs> swallowed up have you ever been swallowed up have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelmed have you ever been swallowed have you ever been swallowed <laughs> y'all don't know where this can take you when you make a woman feel safe and secure, oh my gosh, she's eating at the palm of your hand. What do you want? What do you mean to do? Y'all don't understand the power that y'all have if y'all just treat women right. But y'all need to work on yourselves before y'all can do that in general. In my next relationship, I will feel safe and secure, properly loved, lots of laughs beautiful communication i will be with someone that is specifically made for me
consistency is really big when it comes to growing your channel and i would say consistency in general for me is something that i really desperately need to work on so i'm gonna put consistency with creating that content okay so that's what we're striving for this year i want my channel to be big i think my channel is more about whatever i learn i just want to put you guys on you know whether it's uplifting looking beautiful feeling beautiful and it doesn't have to be just makeup and wigs but self-care you know a lot of my vlogs was just me pretty much a lot of my vlogs is more about self-care if you really dig into it i like to take myself out i've stopped doing that so now i want to take myself out at least once a month um doing vlogs whether it's going out and doing um going grocery shopping picking up healthy stuff for the week you know uh, skincare just my my channel is still about mental health but it's in a way where everyone can chime in and not feel too serious like you're gonna get a giggle you're gonna get a laugh i've learned a lot throughout all my videos if you really catch it you know what i'm saying we are getting closer to the end. I just want you guys to watch me finish making my vision board. But it is 2024. I hope you guys have a great year. Do not kill yourself, okay? Celebrate every milestone. And also, do not watch people. God has a plan for you. Everything will happen on its perfect timing celebrate life i mean if you lost two pounds celebrate it <laughs> okay i hope money falls on you like strippers at a strip club i wish you guys the best of luck this year if last year was bad i hope this year brings you nothing but happiness and growth and i love you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video